Hi, this is the second video uh, on chapter 7 to 11 and I'll do my project on Home Depot. To introduce you to all I'm going to do my project, I'm basically going to I basically choose chapter 7 and 9, chapter 7 being on performance review and chapter 9 being on discipline. I'll first show the theory, what we learn in class and what is in the book, and then I will show how it does apply to the business uh, on a daily basis and in general. The theory for chapter 7 is uh, to improve the organization ability to get the right things done, increase employees job satisfaction by involving them in teamwork and key decision affecting their, their job in general, align the individual and team goal with the organization goal, uh, identification and training and development needed, assessment of people's th strengths for the business growth. Now when it comes to inaction performance review, it's a bit different wh when it comes to Home Depot. They basically use this opportunity to compare to, uh, to your peers. How you perform compared to them uh, on a grade level. Basically it goes from E, M and N. N being uh, very good, M being the average and I being uh, that you need to improve it basically. They're going to show you your uh, grades if you want and someone else's grade, but you don't know the name of the person. And they'll try to help you discuss with you the problem that you have with certain specific aspect of your evaluation, how you could improve it, and then they'll try and uh, put you in specific formation to try and uh, help you develop the skill and how to improve that specific uh, job, basically. Uh, then they'll basically finish the meeting with you and they'll try to put you back on the right track to uh, allow the business in you to succeed in this matter. Now when it comes to chapter 9 it's a bit different. It's uh, on discipline and when it comes to in the book versus Home Depot it's very different. Basically in the book they're trying to uh, uh, basically in the book they try to clearly state the uh, expectation from the of performance that the company is required and your specific behavior that you should apply to the system in general then they put in uh, place the uh, treatment, uh, treatment that punishes for instance if you're late well you get a punishment etc uh, etc et orderly behavior in the organization setting basically yeah if you're harassing someone and stuff like that you should be punished for it Training that mold and strength the desirable conduct of employees and uh, towards self control. Basically allowing you uh, specifically mentioning that you should be that you should be in control of what you do in a, in your specific actions. But when it comes to yeah, to the action that Home Depot is using, it's a bit different. Basically they work on a kind of five strike uh, method. Basically the first strike they let it go. They won't really make that big of a deal for it. They might bring up in some conversation like why were you late that one time and stuff like that the second time they will have a private word with you there's they'll basically ask a manager to uh, meet with you one-on-one -on -one to discuss that matter uh, then they'll uh, make you sign a paper paper copy which describes that yes you know that you made those mistakes uh, and that the f next time it will be a suspension this is why you need to sign it and basically the fourth time it's a suspension Fourth time, uh, depending on the severe, uh, like how bad your action were, the punishment will change. For instance, if it's because you're late all the time, they might they might uh, just put you on a suspension for a week. But if it's for something more severe, like you harassed someone at work, they might put you on a break for two weeks or more, depending uh, on the outcome of the situation. And the fifth strike. They might just kick you out of the business, but it never happened at where I'm working and uh, from all I could read online from it, uh, it never really happens unless it's a very specific case. Uh, this is my sources. Basically I used uh, the PowerPoint from Mr. Forbes for most of the information and the book. And uh, on this site I could basically go log in in my associate uh, uh, site if you want and I could see all the information that I needed from discipline uh, 
employees performance management i could even see my performance management and all that stuff so it was a pretty uh, simple way of doing the uh, project 